Hey guys, welcome to day 40 of Project Adam and Weave. My name is Caleb and welcome to my channel Caleb Creates. Today is a super exciting day for me for two reasons. The first reason being, the second batch of eggs have already matured into adult weaver ends and the current colony size stands at a staggering 40 to 50 adult workers. This is more than double the amount from the first batch of workers which stood at a, a, a population of 17. Now, the second reason why I'm so excited today and the main reason is because the ants have started to move out of their test tube into this place. Look, they are moving up the driftwood into the potted plant, which is the money tree plant, up the branches into this. Their very own first leaf nest. Isn't that some exciting stuff, guys? Well, I have never thought that they would begin building their leaf nest so soon, but they have already started doing so. And look at this guy. He's actually moving the larvae into the nest. And this guy carrying some eggs. Now let me just go in and give you another angle, a clearer angle. Okay, oh my god guys. This is actually an epic moment where they're actually moving the queen into the new nest. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, I'm having I'm having shivers. I'm having chills right now. Look at the worker ants trying to pull that huge ass heavy queen up that stem. Oh my god. Wow. I can't believe I'm actually capturing this on camera, guys. She's like a dark green. Oh man, I hope she doesn't fall. If she falls, I don't think she'll be able to survive it. Hopefully the workers got her in their grip. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on. Okay, now I... I believe that they're trying to find the entrance to the nest. Ah. There it is. They're trying to squeeze her in right now. Okay, half of her body is in. <laughs> They're really trying their best. She must be pretty heavy though. I think the opening is not big enough for her to squeeze in. They probably have to pry the opening a little bit bigger before she can go inside. Okay, looks like they've... They've changed their mind. Right now she's actually crawling to the top of the leaf. Hmm. Let me try to get another angle for you guys. Look at that. Oh my god, isn't she beautiful? Look at the patterns on her body. Well, I, I really hope that the ants do quickly find an opening in the nest to hurry, hurry her in, squeeze her in as soon as possible because she's very vulnerable at the moment. But at the same time, I, I'm actually pretty pleased that I can actually have uh, the opportunity to capture such beautiful footage of the queen.
And look at the workers. They're climbing all over her. It's almost like they're trying to shield her and protect her from the elements. I feel so blessed right now that I'm able to capture this footage and share it with you, with you guys. I mean, what are the odds that we can get to witness this momentous event? Queen Weaver N moving into her new home. Looks like she's made a roundabout. She's probably going to go back to that little hole and try to enter from it again. I'm not sure. Let's just wait and see. Okay. Now the queen is actually moving back down the stem of the plant. Hmm, I wonder why. Are they going to move her back into the test tube? This is so strange. They've come all this way just to shift her back? These ends really baffle me. Maybe the nest is just not ready yet. And it's too unsafe for the queen to be exposed like that. So I guess they probably have no choice but to shift her back until the, until the nest is more complete then probably they'll try to shift her back into the nest again. It looks like the workers are edging her along. There she goes. Yep, she's going home. back into the safety of the test tube. Look at that weaver end with a larvae clasped between her mandibles. So what she's doing right now is she's actually gently squeezing on the larvae so that the larvae would produce silk uh, which they use to stitch up the leaves together to form the nest. So the weaver end will do this to and fro stitching method thousands and thousands of times until the whole leaf um, is tightly secured. Some more stitching action. You can actually do this for days. It's a painstaking process. It's also pretty incredible the amount of silk that the larvae can produce a tremendous amount. Alright, this is another awesome angle of the nest. If you look straight ahead, you can actually see the opening of the nest and the ends inside. That is where they're gonna move all the eggs and the larvae. I wonder if they're gonna make this nest a satellite nest instead of the main nest for the queen. It's still too early to tell. Um, well, we just have to wait and see, right? 
Okay, it seems that right now the queen is about to make her second attempt to enter the nest. Let's see if this time if she's successful. Wow, look at that. Look at her go. There's no way the workers are gonna let her go. I think she's in pretty safe hands. Okay. Does she make it this time? And I think so. Yes! She's in! Home sweet home. I mean home sweet new home. Alright guys, I'm famished. I'm gonna break for lunch and leave the ants here to do their thing. So, is the queen gonna be happy in her new home? Or is she gonna move back into the test tube? Or are the workers gonna build multiple satellite nests on the same plant to house their brood and their workers? Stay tuned to Caleb Creates to find out. See you guys!